Hi, I'm Felicia Rashad. Along with being an actress, I am also the mother of two wonderful children. And as a mother, I understand that parents these days have lots of questions about what's best for their own kids' health. Like why breastfeeding is supposed to be so good for your baby. Or which kind of formula is best to buy. How do you know when your baby's sick? And if he's not, why visit a doctor? When's the right time for solids and finger foods? And what do you do with a picky eater? Today we'll talk about the answers to these questions and more because your baby's health will shape her body and her life forever. Good health starts very early in life, even before birth in the mother's womb. The cord is really like a direct feeding tube from mom to baby. What she eats and drinks feeds her growing baby as well. That's why a mom's healthy diet during pregnancy gives her child a head start on good health. And that's why you should never smoke, use drugs, or drink alcohol during pregnancy. Smoking and alcohol use can result in very low birth weight for your baby, putting her health at risk right from the beginning. So take care of yourself and you'll be really taking care of your baby. Good sized child, those little cheeks. I'm sure you're feeling the uh, baby kick. It's a very good indicator of a healthy baby. Here's the baby's head. Every pregnant woman should regularly visit a doctor's office or clinic. Watch his face and his little hands. And okay, hello. Hello. Okay, he's smiling. <laughs> you're 24 weeks, six days. They'll take your family's medical history, test for diseases, check your weight and blood pressure, and follow you through the course of your pregnancy to make sure everything's okay. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Hi, how are you? Good. Ask about the best diet for you and the little life inside you. The baby's drinking this amniotic fluid. Mm -hmm. Remember, you're eating for two now. All the way through pregnancy. That's the umbilical cord, the baby. Veronica's baby is very well positioned. This is the baby's head, right here. During pregnancy, a weight gain of 25 to 35 pounds is about normal. This is the baby's back, okay? You and your fetus need that much nutrition to be in perfect right. shape for oh. birth. Baby boy. Oh. Feeding is the first real connection between you and your new baby. It doesn't get any closer than that. There are lots of benefits to breastfeeding. That's it. First, your own milk is best for your child. It's nature's way and far healthier than formula milk. Mother's milk strengthens a baby's immune system, helping him fight off germs and disease. Even if you just breastfeed for one week, your baby will be more protected against illness than a child who gets only formula. By choosing to breastfeed, you're giving your baby all the nutrition she's going to need for the first four to six months of life. The longer you breastfeed, the more protection your baby has. And there are pluses for mom, too. It relaxes and slims her. So you want to bring your arm underneath her and put your uh, thumb and index finger underneath the nape of her neck. Even though nursing may be nature's way. And see how she's opening her mouth? Mm -hmm. That's a good sign that she's ready to feed. It doesn't always come naturally. Both of you have to learn how to do it. So don't be afraid to ask for help. You want to bring her chin into the breast first, right? The milk's always handy. It's mixed, sterilized, and just the right temperature. And best of all, your body will make as much milk as your child needs. You won't run out. The goal is, is to get a lot of the areola, especially the lower half of the areola, mm -hmm. into her mouth. If the baby seems to slow down on your breast, what you can do is, with your thumb, mm -hmm. um, milk down the breast. The more you nurse your baby, the more milk you'll make. Proper positioning and proper latching and proper sucking will prevent your nipples 
from hurting. If you can tolerate the first few days or the first three days mm -hmm. of breastfeeding, then you have accomplished a milestone because the sore nipples could be very painful. Yep. Using lancelin mm -hmm. or lanolin and massaging the nipples, mm -hmm. also air drawing the nipples, yep. using your own milk to coat the nipples, mm -hmm. that also <coughs> helps in the healing process. Some women, especially working moms, choose to pump their milk and store it in the refrigerator. That way, baby can drink mother's milk when she's not there. A bottle of mom's milk can be refrigerated up to a day or frozen up to six months, but no longer. If there's any remaining after a feeding, throw it away. Breast milk spoils quickly, even in a refrigerator. If you're breastfeeding, you're still eating for two. In fact, everything you put in your body goes into your baby's body too. There are only a few situations in which a woman shouldn't consider breastfeeding if you have HIV, AIDS, or a problem with drugs or alcohol, don't breastfeed. If you're nursing, always check with the doctor before taking any medicine. But some mothers can't breastfeed for a number of good reasons. If you have to use formula, it's okay. You don't have to feel guilty. You can still bond with your baby and he will still be well fed. Here we have our own privacy. Bottle feeding can still let you feel close to your baby. And it gives the guys a chance to hold and feed the new baby, as well as brothers, sisters, and grandparents. Be sure to cuddle her. Look into her eyes and talk to her. Important rule. Never prop the bottle and let him feed himself or put the baby in bed with a bottle. The milk pools around the teeth and can cause decay. And even before baby's teeth come in, damage can be done. And never feed cow's milk to a child during the first year. You can buy formula in three ways. Ready to use, already in a bottle. You just warm, add a nipple, and it's ready for baby. Easy but expensive. Ready to pour. Pour into a sterilized bottle, warm, and feed. Ready to mix. The very best buy. Mix the powder or liquid with water, warm, and serve. Be sure to follow the directions and use the right amount of water. If the formula is too weak, your baby will be underfed, and too strong can be dangerous. Never give your baby cold or hot formula. It should be at body temperature and not feel hot or cold on your skin. And never use a microwave to warm the formula. When baby's hungry, feed her, no matter what time of day or night. It's normal for babies to want to nurse often in the beginning. After a while, you two will work out a schedule that's right for both of you. Here are some important points to remember about breast milk and formula. Mom's milk is best, so try to breastfeed your baby. If you use formula, be sure to follow the directions. Don't ever give baby cow's milk during the first year. Feed your baby when he's hungry. Now, how do you know if your baby's well fed? She should seem satisfied, sleep well, and gain weight. Most babies will double their birth weight by six months. And to make sure he's growing up healthy, be sure to go to the doctor's office or clinic regularly. 14 and a quarter, very good. These are called well baby checkups because your baby doesn't have to be sick to be examined. You're gonna bring over here and put her diaper on. Normally, the first is the one month checkup. In this checkup, the doctor wants to make sure the baby's off to a good start. <coughs> Eating and sleeping well and growing up strong, healthy and happy. If there are any hearing or vision problems, it's best to catch it early. Have you seen her responding to loud noises? Yes, she's already. Okay. Has she been tracking you down with her sight already? Sometimes she does. Okay. Now tell me which position do you put her to sleep? On her back. On her back. Very good. That's the preferred uh, position. Okay, these days, is you put her on her back. All right. Very good. For the first year of life. Most babies during the first year are usually healthy. But there are illnesses that are common, like allergies, colds, constipation, ear infections, and diarrhea. 
how do I tell if she's sick? If the baby at any point has a fever, we need to know about. It's not normal for babies, especially in the first three months of life, to have a fever. If she's vomiting, if she's not keeping her feedings down, she starts vomiting everything you give her, she has diarrhea. Those are all signs and symptoms that you should come in and see us. During the first year, see a doctor at one month, two months, four months, six months, nine months, and one year. Okay, Mrs. Tominelli, I know Dr. D'Angelo discussed the immunizations with you. Yep. It's really important your baby gets shots to protect against diseases. The first immunizations include hepatitis B, polio, DTP, and meningitis. All right, you can pick him up. We're gonna give him measles, mumps, rubella vaccine today, okay? After the first year, your baby will get shots for measles, mumps, rubella, yeah, and so chicken pox. He's doing very well. Good. Any questions? With each visit, you'll learn about how your baby is doing for his age. Yeah. There you go. Hey. Oh, do you want it? You don't have to have it. Let's see your face for a little while. Yeah. Has he started teething yet? No. Okay. He may start to wake up at night when those teeth start coming in. You don't want to sit? For both parents and baby, cutting the first tooth isn't much fun. It can be pretty painful. The first signs are heavy drooling and fussing from the pain. Give him something to bite, like a teething ring. You can gently rub his gums to soothe the ache. During the day, can I give him Tylenol? If he's really uncomfortable and miserable, I don't object to Tylenol, but what you might find works even better is if you can just massage the gums, just press where the teeth are cutting through, right. that actually helps him cut. And oh, often okay. just pressing, and you can avoid all the medicines. And be sure to wash your hands. Time for breakfast. Teething usually happens about the same time the baby is ready for solids, Girl. around six months. The first solid food should be partly liquid, like rice cereal mixed with breast milk or formula. Another rule, never put solids in a bottle. Don't be surprised if your baby pushes the food out of her tongue at first. That's normal. Don't rush it. Just try again another day. There are no hard rules about what solids to feed and when, but experts say four to six months, that's the time to begin cereals. Somewhere between six and eight months, you can start juices and pureed fruits and vegetables. Between seven and 10 months, try to introduce pureed meat, chicken, beans, rice, and tofu. Introduce one new food at a time, about a week apart, that way you can tell if your baby has any food allergies. As your baby grows, food safety becomes even more important. Check the use date on all containers and never feed directly from the jar. Or if you do, throw out the leftovers. Don't forget to put already open jars into the refrigerator. You should warm foods to body temperature and again, avoid microwaving. It can create hot spots that will burn your baby's mouth. Another tip, mix fruit juice with water to reduce the amount of sugar you're giving your baby. Somewhere around eight months, your baby will begin to pick up things with her fingers. It means you can probably begin finger foods. As she learns how to grasp small things, she'll begin to feed herself, eating crackers or pieces of bread. Now that he's putting things in his mouth, there's always a danger of choking. So be sure to cut food into small pieces. And don't use honey in the first year. It can cause choking too. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. A year old. A healthy and happy birthday and exciting too, because there's some big changes ahead. The 12 month checkup makes sure your baby is healthy and happy and ready for the important work of the second year. And is he walking yet or yes, is he crawling he still? Yeah. How long He's has he been walking. walking now? He was walking like about 11 months. Yeah. Does he say anything? Um, he has his own language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that right? Let's see what's in here. 